Oh, by the way, have you played Bastodon's Traction? I'll give you a tip. Think which way you want the ball to go before you make a move. That will help you get a high score. Yo, how about a battle? Let's do it. It's battle time, Gibble. Okay, let's get started. Don't be too surprised by what's coming. You can't surprise me. You're going to do the same strategy as before. You're going to move a few distances away from me. Then you're going to wait and charge up the most powerful Dragon Breath attack you have. Then you're just going to fall flat on your face, fall short, beating me. Because you think that just because my Thunderbolts can't hit you, that you have the advantage. Well, sir, I have uh, news for you. No. Just no. Taste Iron Tail. Ha cha cha cha! Cha dee cha dee cha! Woo! You're tough! And that was fun! Let's play again sometime! Uh, maybe later. Maybe later. I don't know if I need to grind for any berries, but I, I highly doubt that. As I've mentioned, I think I remember mentioning this a long time ago. There is an easy way to grind for berries, and you just base, and that way is completing all the Pokemon uh, that you can use in each of the attractions. If you do that for like an hour or so, you know, on each of the attractions, I mean, including the ones in the Meadow Zone, the Beach Zone, and in this zone, which we'll be taking care of in this episode, um, you will definitely find yourself with well over a thousand berries. I just found Magnemite. Holy crap! That was the last one. Oh my gosh, I, t I spent two episodes trying to find you. Anyway, once you find all three Magnemites, a Magnazone appears! Oh my! Hmm, yes. Unfortunately, he will not befriend us by sim by having us simply talk to him, so we're gonna have to do that. Did I even introduce who the heck I was? Y'all probably know it already, but just in case. Howdy, guys and gals! I'm Silent Team 9 and welcome back to Let's Play Poké Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. I figured I'd start us off on a different note, because the same old, same old gets boring really fast. Oh yeah. <laughs> first things first, instead of dancing around like a dummy, let's look at our map. That's part of my problem, if y'all are wondering, like, man, is this guy really stupid? I'm sorry, Fampy. Sorry. I'm so sorry! I'm so meany! Alright, back to what I was saying. If it seems like I'm flailing about, it is, it's because I am indeed flailing about. I seem to forget that there is a map on the bottom right of the screen that I can very well use to kind of help guide myself in the correct direction. You know, because if you try to rely on the sea, strictly the scenery, at least in this place, oh my land. Oh my land, oh my lordy, oh my Levi Jones, oh my Levi Jeans, man. It's just the horror. Oh, the horror. I have no idea where I was going with that. But anyway, yeah, I, I, sp I totally brain farted in the last couple of episodes. Not thinking about, like, you can use the map, dude. Just saying. It's there for your guidance. Yay! A big berry for me? Wow, thank you. Don't think I like you, you big dumb jerk. <laughs> we are friends, aren't we, though? I... You've got friend? Question mark? Sure, why not? Alright, well, that was a rather easy one. I suppose we should probably pick it up. Pick it up a notch. Kick it up a notch! Let's kick it up a notch here! Bam! Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and talk to Meowth here. What are you looking for? Looks like you're looking for somebody. The temperature is lovely today! It feels great on the skin, too. Great for sales pitches. Only just for me. <laughs> the hot spring is going to be very successful. I see profit. <laughs> Smell that? It's the sweet sensation of the next century. <laughs> What's that? A skill game? How about a quiz? I'm quite knowledgeable. Think you can handle it? Bring it on, Meowth. Alrighty then, let's begin! Question number uno! What color is the tip of my tail? No peeking now! Okay. <laughs> it's brown. <laughs> no, 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 uh, it's not just cut. Okay, yeah, it is. I'm totally thinking of the fact that it looks like he probably took a dump and he, he accidentally got some on his tail. Anyway, stop being dumb, dude. Question two. What does Marowak and Carrizone hold in his hand? A spoon. Spoon! Spoons! Spoons! He's gonna... Dude, pick the correct answer. You're not gonna get anywhere with that. That's right! Now, continue on and quit interrupting me! Third question! 
what comes out of Bonsley's eyes? Hmm. Fire? Oh man, that'd be so cool. Be shooting fire out of her, his eyes. That'd be so awesome. Rainbows! Yeah, yo! Get some rainbows in here! Okay. For real, though. I believe it's water. Although, technically, it's tears, but anyway. Who's who's talking technical? That's right! So shut up about the technical talk! Well, you've answered all my questions correctly. Well done, good sir. Hey, how about we be best friends, best pals? Now, play with me again sometime! You've got friend! Oh, yeah. We got a friend. We got another friend. We got three friends in the same episode. Yeah. Yeah, forgive me if I seem like I'm brain farting us for ideas for commentary. I'm actually recording this rather late and I shouldn't be quite as loud as I am, but you know what? I'm just kind of like, if I don't let the energy flow and let loose, like foot loose, then honestly the commentary comes to a, a breaking halt and then basically I have nothing. Not a thing for you all. Alright, let me see here. I'm checking the list here. Checking it twice to find out who's naughty or nice. Looks like I only got Bastrodon and Magnazone, and then... Actually, there's another Pokemon, but anyway. Well, howdy! Thanks to the hot spring, the attraction is busy again! The hot spring really pulls in the customers. Was that a confusing thing to say? Mmm, I think I caught all of it. Oh, sorry, pardon, partner. I mean, we're getting many visitors. This best of Dawn's block barrage, this is my attraction. If you wish to play it, you're gonna need to pay up 20 berries. Just a small little detail that you need to pay for. Let's do it. Okay, come on over then. Sure thing. Alright, so welcome to our next attraction, our first attraction in this new zone. Bastodon's block barrage. Basically, we're playing a Kind of what I guess would be called a game of Pong, except we don't have another p opponent uh, knocking the ball back at us. But essentially that's what this is. But yeah, we're breaking blocks. We use the uh, two? Yeah, it's two. I was just looking at checking it. I mean, I read it. I can see it right there. It says press two, but I just wanted to be sure. We're pressing two every time we want to hit the ball. And then, of course, you got to move around, obviously, left or right. You don't have to. Thankfully, you don't have to move up or down, and that would really screw us up. But yeah, the more blocks you break, the higher your score. That's what I was just saying earlier. Use D-pad. All right, power shot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Power shots can go right through Doug Trio and Bastardon. Power shots also double the points. All right, so that's definitely some food for thought. Alrighty. Oh, and we get three balls to uh, play with. As soon as we use them all up, it's kind of like how in Pokemon Penball you get so many balls and then, you know... Actually, no, it wasn't... It's, that's, that's not exactly... That's not at all what it's like. But anyway, shut up, dude. Three balls and we're out of here. It's kind of like baseball. There we go. That'll work. So let's shoot for the high score. Skillful Pokemon. Oh well, yeah, Mr. Mine. I automatically think of Barrier Barrage from Pokemon Stadium 2. In fact, you know what, for old time's sake, for barrage, 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 something like that. I don't know how to pronounce that right, apparently. We'll use Mr. Mine. Just because, you know? Alrighty, goal is 4,000, but if we want to get the bonus, we're going to score 12,000 points. That sounds like an easy task. Alright, here we go. Oh, I guess I was wrong then. We do have an opponent. We actually have Bastrodon to worry about. I was thinking, oh, good lord, man, you didn't get any points that time. What's the matter with you? Holy crap. Alright, so... Basically, all you gotta do is you just gotta keep moving back and forth, kind of watching the ball, kind of predicting... Kind of predicting. Predicting where it's gonna go. And then the idea is to try and hit the same num hit the same doors. That way you can actually increase the amount of points you get each time. The numbers on the doors will actually stop increasing after a while, so there is a limit to how high you can reach those. In the meantime, as you can see, every time this ball hits both ends, both my end and Bastardon, then it actually increases in speed, which of course is what basically prevents you from playing this forever. Unless, of course, you're just that, that good at this game, then by all means, play on forever, I suppose. Random fact, you probably, some probably don't know because they didn't play this game long enough to do that because I've actually done it. 
there is a maximum score you can actually hit, and basically you'll you'll stop scoring points actually. So it's pretty cool. Man, I'm just slobbering myself. Holy cow. Ugh. All right. I'm not trying to be a show off. I'm just like it's a, it's like a force to have. It's like a knee jerk reaction. I'm like, okay, gotta, gotta get the, gotta get the ball. Gotta get the ball. Don't, don't want to mess up. Don't want to mess up. Oh! And there goes our ball. Yeah, as you can see, we pretty much met our time, but. As we progress and you get more points, Doug Trio and Diglett, of course, interfere, but yeah, we got our bonus. Woohoo! Good lord, man, he's just got the claps. He's so freaking excited. Man! Alright, well, thank you, Mr. Mime. You did a wonderful job. Mr. Mime, Mime! Do uh huh? Alright, so with that, we got 150 berries, scored a new record. How we doing on time? Ooh, my Lanta. Am I gonna cut any of that out? Uh, probably not. That's okay, we'll get it. We'll get it, don't worry. Okay, you've cleared it. Nice job! I'd expect that from you! Why? Well, you're collecting prison pieces, aren't you? Who told you? Did you hear it from a little birdie? Didn't you know? I have one myself. I was expecting you. You may have it as a token of clearing my attraction. Yay! We got a prison piece! Yeah! Been a while. Actually, I just came from the lava zone. Are you going there? Blaze again, the zone keeper is collecting prison pieces too. Oh. Do I detect some competition? We've got friend! Already. Sweet! Would you like to save all your adventure? Sure. Let's do that. Save complete. Nice! Nice, dude. Nice. Alrighty, so... What did I... Why do you do that, dude? Stop doing that. Alrighty, so... Alrighty, so back to business. Stop that fun. Cut the chatter. Cut the chit-chat. You, you, you just need to get business. Get serious. You know, you gotta get jiggy with it. Time to get jiggy with it. dun 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 dun, -dun. Yeah, that, that's not how it goes. But... That's the first thing that came out of my mouth, so I guess that's how this version's gonna go. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, befriend yeah, yeah, Magnazoon, yeah. and then uh, I think we might do it, unless I find Torchic, who's the last yeah, Pokemon yeah, I want to befriend, yeah. real quick. They say there is a stone with enormous power. It's called the Sky Prison, and it's somewhere in the Poke Park. Do tell. This sounds like my type of prison piece. Battle me. Well, that was fast. You don't beat around the bush, do you? Good. Defeat me, if you can. Sounds like a plan. Ah, Hot Coco is the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Okay, stop. You're not gonna see that song, dude. Oh, really? That's interesting. I forgot to let the Thunderbolt attack actually will not do any damage. It's pretty cool, though. You're good and spunky. You're so sparky, too. I can feel the electrical flow coming from you. Will you be my friend? Um... I don't know. You're you're kind of a strange one. You better be my... Okay. Yeah, we're friends. We've got friend. Alrighty. Well, thank you all for watching. Love y'all bunches. Please don't let your hairs fly up. And in the next part of Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure, we will proceed officially to the Magma Zone, or Lava Zone. I keep getting the name mixed up, but we are done here. Thank goodness, because we have been here for an eternity, and just, oh man. It's just ridiculous how slow I am at this game, but... I guess... I just need to stop talking and say, bye guys, see ya.